Hello everyone, um, my name is Mfundo and welcome back to my channel for the new people. I welcome you all. Um, today we're just going to do a breakdown of Ducky Lindo's song called Ungulungul. So again, going to do intro, um, verse, chorus and then outro because some sections just repeat the same thing. Okay, so let's get going with the intro. I'm going to play through it and then break it down. The song is in F sharp. So for this two bars, we let it play. So let's just break that section first and then we'll go to the verse and the chorus. So the intro really is I'm speaking in relation to bass. So again Let me slow that down so it's one two three so one two three four three and then four five six seven flat six and then six low octave seven one okay i know the terminology is might be a repeat flimsy but i think you'll get the idea Again, let's repeat that again. Okay, and then we let it play for two bars, and then the next section is four, then three. Seven one, pass on the two, five, and then the section is three two, one seven six seven one, and then you pause it again, and then four, let it play, and then when the drums coming, like when the drummer rolls, or chop rather, you then do this again, but this time you just do this first section and then. Four six two, and then six seven one. Okay, let me play with it again so that it will make sense. Four, six, 
six, seven, one. Okay, let me play as if I'm playing the whole thing slowly. And then you wait those two pairs and then you go to the four, three, seven, one, two, five, three, two, seven, uh, one, seven, six, seven, one. You wait a bit, then you play for one bar. And then when the drums come in, and then you go, and then four, six, two, six, seven, one. Okay, now let's let's go with the the first section. I'll just say the first section. Let me not say the first because I'm not sure if it's the first or quarter. So I mix them up. Okay, so the groove. So let's just do this section first. So the groove is that's just the first section of it. So again, let's do it slowly. But I know you can also do that. I think in some sections it does. Or maybe is it because it was like he missed this? I don't know. But I know in some section. Excuse me. So again, four to the six. Let's go again. Slow it down, let's do so it's four, four, one, four, four, right? Okay, that's the one. And then four, three, two, one, six. It's a bit quick. Right? Okay, four, one, four. And then again. Um, it would be six octaves, like this kind of move. Again, okay. yeah. So okay. So we ended on six, and then one, two, two sharp, three, six. Six octave. When I say six octave, I just mean play this. Isn't like an octave, because <laughs> it's difficult to keep on saying like six, three, six, six. You know. So again, four. Oh, you can skip the second octave anyway. So again. Let's go again. Uh -huh. Last time. Then the last portion. After it's five, six, one, it's like a move. It's like a sort of like a passing move to the three, four, six, two, right? That's how it's played. Okay. Slower. Then 
Think of it as uh, um, an arpeggio for two, because it's a minor. Uh, right from the top. After this, it's uh, sorry. So two, four, two, four, five, one. Of course, I'm oversimplifying it. So let me play again with it so that you'll see the whole thing. So I'm gonna just take it back a bit and see where did we end. Let's just start it here. So now I think the, the next section is like the different section. I'm gonna just call it section B <laughs> on the chorus. Okay. Four. section you need to do it justice Basically, what is happening? Uh, it's four, two, th one, four, three, seven, one, two. Well, pass on the six, five, and then three, two, one, seven, six, seven, one. And then back to the groove. Again, slower. So it's four, two, one, four, three, seven, one, six, two, five, three, two, one, seven, six, seven, one. Break to the groove. Right? Check that's that. So now let's see. I think there's a section that's like an outro. Let's play with it. So I think I missed that section. Let's take it back. So there's a section that's like an outro. So it's basically the groove and then the outro is like and then so it's one, two, three, four, three, 
four, four, five, six, seven flat, and then seven flat, six, five, four, three, one. But the last section like this on the three, they slide to the three, right? Also, the timing is a bit different. Okay, slower to sorry again. Okay, and that's just about it. Um, yeah, let me maybe repeat the outro and then I'll end the video. Let's see. pretty much the sections of the song and yeah i hope you enjoyed the video and please share and yeah hopefully it will help some people who want to learn the song and how to play it yeah that's it and enjoy the rest of it